Hey guys, it's GMs here again. This is gonna be what if Goku became a speedster. So if you guys don't know a speedster, it's basically like like kind of like Flash. Like Flash, Kid Flash, um uh I guess Red Rush from Invincible Can Count. You can think of I forgot the guy, the black guy's name in uh the boys, you can count him as well. Uh you can think of a lot of characters as that basically. So yeah. So yeah, but basically uh Basically, anyone who's like insanely fast can be counted as a speedster, but mainly it's based off like the Flash and the speedsters in the DC universe who can move faster than, than lightning. So, yeah. <clears throat> now I would list off all speedster abilities right now, but I took I took abilities from like other speedsters plus Flash and like like I took like abilities from like the, the, the peak on them, like, the peak Flash power. But also, I'm going to be giving Goku, like, some abilities, like, just other DC heroes. Well, not other DC, mainly, like, taking them from the ones that are, like, insanely physically strong, like Superman or something like that. I'm giving him, like, one ability I want to involve is probably just the retcon punch that Superboy Prime has. I want to use that punch so damn badly. Just fucking just retcon Beerus. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go over how, how Goku would get the whole speedster thing. Now, Barry Allen originally kind of got the whole speedster ability from, like, lightning and chemicals. And this one, I'm pretty sure Goku did some kind of training with Mr. Popo where he had to do, um, where he basically get this lightning with his crown, and if Goku took it, it'd generate lightning and it'd try to hit him. The lightning tried to hit Goku. When Goku picked up the crown and he is hit by lightning the first time, he tries to stuff it through it until he just gets barraged by more and more lightning bolts. Whenever Goku's body is just getting a lightning aura at this point. Goku and Goku been yelling, trying to just send Ki out, just actually push away the lightning. Till eventually, Goku's body is engulfed in kind of like an aura of light and lightning. Wait, pause. Alright, so, Goku's basically trying to even fire off Ki to get the lightning aura off of him. Goku's Goku been running, been running, trying to like get out of the lightning. Suddenly, as he's running, Swapo even like appear to get, uh, trying to get Goku away from the lightning. But as he's about to touch Goku, Goku's body has disappeared, and the crown was left on the ground. Swapo reached up to Kami, telling Kami that the lightning kind of, he thought the lightning incinerated Goku completely. Remember that he shocked that lightning did that when Goku's face attacks are way stronger than lightning. But Goku happened to be in the Speed Force, and when he appeared in the Speed Force, he wasn't running, wasn't moving at all. He was too scared to, to move. Until suddenly, a giant, well, looked like him. Well, it had the outline of him, but it was bigger, like it was an adult. The other team immediately just ran full speed ahead, trying to just run as fast as he can. Goku's body had an, an aura of lightning, and well, Goku turned around as he, he like kind of more like back, backpedaling now. So the, the whatever chasing him isn't chasing him anymore. But this Goku, this Goku being running a bit, he kind of slowed down from running to like jogging. And as he looked around, well, he saw basically the history, not history, but the a multiverse, so to say. It's more of a multiverse of speedsters. You need to when someone fast enough to tap into someone something like the Speed Force. Well, he could see them. He saw the Flash, Wally West, a lot of people. Goku eventually returned, and he appeared in front of the crown as Kami had sensed Goku, saying, Wait, I thought you said you was dead, Popo. As they both appear in front of Goku as they asked where he went. He says, I don't know, some random alley thing. Not, well, not, not alley, like, some, like, or some random bridge of lightning. I ran on that for a while. But if I stop running, something, something, something tried to kill me. He says, what, what, what do you mean try to kill you? He says, I don't know, if I stopped running, something tried to kill me, and it looked like me. Kami was a little confused by this, but eventually he brought Goku to actually, well, we brought Goku to look at me and helping Goku train like, at speed, and Goku got a great deal faster. Like, Kami can't even keep up with Goku anymore, and Goku's power, 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 power level is barely near 300, or well, Kami's in the 400s. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So with this, basically, Goku would decide to actually, well, uh, well, he goes to get the crown again, knowing he touched the crown, I can try to hit him, but he just disappeared to look at it, holding the crown. He wonders how he did that, as he just ran and jumped. Kami did tell Goku that Goku's speed is surpassing speed of light hundreds of times over at this point, and Goku's, it's just Goku's first time using it. So if he can not speed light hundreds of times over, lightning can never touch him, ever. It's just how fast he is. Yeah. But with this, well, eventually Goku would decide to actually, well, um. Well, Goku would honestly just decide to actually, like, I'd say, 
Well, each train with a speed force ability with Kami. Kami you want to test out what what aspect of Goku got faster. Cause he just Goku was fast and Goku, to the point where even like you know, like started saying that he like felt himself running back and like he felt his body feeling different. Then when he landed somewhere he felt he lost how Earth was a bit different. When he ran again and was able to get back to his current time was saying he ran through time. And that that does shock Kami a lot. Yeah, Go, Goku's first the first time time traveler. Oh wait, hold up. Eh. Okay, yeah. Right. Now, Kami had also hit Goku with a key blast, and Goku's body began healing a bit faster. Due to Goku just being, well, Goku, but also just having the speed force, his body healed a bit faster. This key blast should take months to heal. It took Goku a matter of days. And Goku, Goku, Goku got a Zenkai from this going up to, like, around, like, from going with, like, what, what, three on, I'm gonna say, like, to, to 310, to, like, play 380. It's just how strong he got from that, from Zenkai alone. 380 is him without weight right now. At this point, he's, like, 17 years old. Uh, he also got, got basically, got basically just, just better, but better reflexes, plus he basically just enhanced his senses and, and his vision to see, to see miles away. But also his senses are, are, are really well honed, so, yeah. So yeah, then he has, well, stamina seemed to increase and started his durability and his agility. And his strength also got a great deal better as well. Then when he runs, he also has a, a whole speed force aura, and he has that as well. And basically, it's more of a defensive aura, the fact that it can absorb kinetic energy, and anyone he has in the aura can be defended against. Like, like kind of like fire key blast as good as, good as Goku's, like, running at him, and the aura basically just, just basically destroyed the key blast. Like, the aura itself just shot off lightning that destroyed the key blast completely. So, yeah. Pause. But Goku basically just, um, well, he, the aura basically absorbs absorb kinetic energy and helps him get stronger. I guess. Not strong, but helps him to have better defense. And then he also can just sound like how he can taught him how to like control just his speed to the point where he has better like reflexes and everything. And with the, those better um, reflexes, well, he can kind of create no reflexes with his better just speed and, and body control. He can create uh, what was it? Hmm. I can uh, I forgot the name of it. Oh yeah, vortexes. So you can create vortexes and tornadoes. He runs in a circle as fast as he can. You create a tornado, but then with his arms and legs, if you can roll them a certain a certain way, he can create vortexes. So yeah, yeah. So you can create create vortexes. And Kami saw this. He, he like he made Goku read books like weather, telling Goku that weather can be can make a lot a lot of times times to weather and storms can be created with just wind. And Goku and Go, Goku can somewhat can, can somewhat manipulate wind. So. Goku, so Goku has to read on storms that can create wind, which has to lead to Goku needing to read a lot more. So yeah. And then he can also kind of just will generate and control electricity, but then also a bit of lightning at the same time. And you can somewhat manipulate magnetism as well, which is pretty impressive for Takami. And then if Goku, with Goku's key usage, but also him moving at his, at his top speed, he actually can kind of become, in a sense, pure key like he, he, he basically just becomes like pure energy and can move in multiple planes, planes of existence at once he can also generate light uh he can drain speed force but he doesn't know that yet he can sense other speeds or emotions but he already knows there's a multiverse like there's one multiverse here there's, well, there's one multiverse in dragon ball verse and then there's other multiverses that expand for different universes like oh the dc universe there's that multiverse the marvel universe there's that multiverse but he can sense, sense, sense the dc universe speedsters but they can, they can sense him as well, but they don't run the same speed force. Goku invented it in his universe, and he runs in his own. But you can see into theirs. That's kind of how his works. Then you can also see visions of the, of the future. Then you can vibrate it fast enough to actually phase through objects and people. And you can also, well, um... For you can also vibrate fast enough to actually cause explosions at some points. So, yeah. Then with also vibration, you can turn invisible as well. He can also generate heat. Um, he can share his speed force. He shared it with Kami and Sopopo for a bit. Uh, if he runs fast enough, he actually can move time forward. So, yeah. And then, well, he has flash time, which basically just, well... If he's in a sense, go, 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 Goku moves so fast that time basically stands still for him. For everyone else, only a second would pass. But for Goku, with how, time's, with how slow time is moving for him, one second for us can be 15 days for him. That's just how slow time is. 
and then he can have 70,000 thoughts in one second. That's just how, that's how fast he thinks. So yeah, she has to say she has 70,000 thoughts in a second, which means I believe he can have around 60 million in just one year. Then he can make contra contracts like the Speed Force Energy, like he can like somewhat, kind of like somewhat create items of clothing, like like, like like just weights and everything. Not like weights, but like, well, yeah, I guess weights can be an option, but yeah. But with this, Goku controlled a lot of his abilities in, the, in those three years, and now came to him for his Piccolo. But Kami also was supposed to have Goku had Zenkai boost and told Goku that Kami's going to injure him a lot, but then give him a Senju Bean. So Goku had also actually, well, actually able to somewhat find, like, he went to the past at one point and stole a dozen Senju Beans. Like, he stole, like, not even right to the heck, he can run, he can run forward, and, forward and backward in time. He just runs forward in time and steals Senju Beans and brings him the current current Corrin, but he hides those ones from Yadrobi. So every time that Goku needs them, he just runs forward in time, steals Senju Bean, and Corrin, Corrin just kind of planted them. And kind of a secret stash he has. And Goku, Goku ate those. Then all the Zenkai that Kami took advantage of. Goku's power, power, power level rose to the final answer Piccolo to power level of roughly about 700. Piccolo is roughly at the best. Wait, wait, 700 is Goku weighted. He's around 800 without weight. Piccolo at the best is like 650. At the best. So, yeah. And that's him That's him without weights. But eventually it is time for Goku and Piccolo to fight. Before it was Goku and Go, Tien. Well, when Tien tried to punch Goku, Goku honestly just laughed at Tien. And Tien is wondering why he didn't hit Goku when it seemed like Goku, 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 Goku didn't budge. But Goku basically basically left Tien, and Tien like wondering why he didn't hit Goku, wondering like 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 my my my, my, my punch cleanly connected. But Goku basically just ended up. But what he does just kind of just vibrate his head at the same speed. So when that Tien hit him, Tien's fist, fist just went straight through Goku's head. Looking at Goku just smirked as he disappeared again, and there's dozens of other Gokus that begin beating up Tien in the middle of the match. By the, time the, fight, by the time the time Tien's done being beaten up, he's really just questioning what the hell that was. Listen, Goku, listen, Goku says, "Oh, I will. I move so fast that I created clones." Eventually, he just kind of just whipped his hand in the air, and then they kind of burst into lightning, and then went away. But Tien lost easily. Piccolo can already tell you can't beat Goku, or doesn't think like he like he thinks he can, but doesn't know it's probably gonna be the hardest fight of his life. Like he knows it's gonna be, it's gonna be a hard fight. For him, that is. For, for Goku, he, 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 can, he can honestly just end the Earth with how fast he can run. Uh, Goku, Goku can run so fast he can, he can light the Earth's atmosphere on fire. This is how fast he is. Yeah. So, go, t so next is go, 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 Goku versus Piccolo. And Piccolo tried to punch Goku at blood full speed. Only if Goku just, like, like just tried to outspeed him. But Goku just punched Piccolo's fist so hard that Piccolo's arm basically just got blown apart. This is how fast Goku, Goku's punch was. Eventually, Piccolo rapidly punched in the chest over and over and over and over, then in the face over and over and over again. By the time Goku's done, Piccolo fell to the ground unconscious. So, yeah. But Goku's pressed the winner without getting hit once. So, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah. But now at this, well... Wait. Alright, so... Goku basically just ended up, um, <clears throat> well, beating Piccolo. He still marries Chi-Chi. Goku did actually want to want to try something. He actually wanted to see if he can get Piccolo to go in the Speed Force with him, because he thinks Piccolo could be a good fighter. And plus, Goku's a lot smarter. Because Kami kind of had good Goku test out all his abilities, even the vision thing, having him go Goku read books as fast as possible. It doesn't Goku realize he can actually process every little bit of the books. Like, he read every book in the book out easily, and most of, the, most of those books came from every bit of history. Some of these books Kami hasn't even gotten to yet, because they're from the like, first ever Kamis. And Goku's a candidate to become Kami. Like, he is a prime candidate. Because he has only pure intentions. But Goku may almost try Piccolo becoming a speedster, because Gohan's a speedster at this point. Gohan was just born with it. And go, 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 go like, she's part of Gohan being one. But whenever she shows him, she shows him to study, he just, like, she's like, I'll study these papers, Gohan. He'll give, him, he'll give them back to her in two minutes, saying, done. And she doesn't believe him until he just talks about everything that well, she needed that she needed from him. Go, 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 go on a speed as basically an intelligence hack, which is just read as fast as possible and you can process everything. Your mind is a lot faster than me than your mother's. So, yeah. But Goku eventually did actually meet, meet up with Piccolo, then run like chair speed force with him, and then run into the speed force itself with Piccolo. Piccolo's question what this is is this Piccolo had stopped moving, but Goku, Goku told Piccolo, Don't you stop or you're gonna die. And Piccolo sees Goku doesn't stop moving at all. He's like, kind of just like, just, like kind of backpedaling and just running forward again to. Piccolo eventually saw like, like, 
like another Goku running at him, question what this is. Goku being a picking Piccolo and running full speed ahead, telling him, we're going to tell you don't stop moving. He went through Piccolo and Piccolo being running himself. Does something that All Black or Goku tried to actually hit Piccolo. Piccolo turned around, going in for going to take the, the blow as Goku is Goku and the, as Piccolo in that some of the dark aura of Goku punch and Clyde Fist into a giant shockwave in the speed force, and Piccolo is punched right out of it. Goku, Goku appeared next to Piccolo. Piccolo's body is shaking with a green aura. It's kind of just an electric aura, really. Kind of, kind of, kind of, like, both do, kind of like Piccolo in Super Saiyan 2. It's kind of what it looks like. Piccolo is in Super Saiyan, so, yeah. Piccolo stand up and then try to punch Goku, saying, What the hell was that? But Goku had walked and punch, but barely getting it flying away, saying, that's, 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 the, that's the ability I have. Me and you both have the same, have the same abilities now. So yeah, so I'm going, I'm going. when Piccolo realized this, he had been trying to use it for evil, trying to like beat Goku, only to have Goku counter all the abilities. And that's when Piccolo told him basically that, um, not Piccolo, this is when Goku told Piccolo that it took Goku three years to master every ability. But Piccolo should go up, should go up and try, and try to charge him with Kami, because Kami helped them mainly, the one, mainly be the ones to help him learn them. But you know, he can help him, he can help him master them. Kami can teach it, Pic then come to Goku to master them, and Piccolo nodded. As he doesn't know that if, if Goku, Goku knows all the abilities of Speed Force, Piccolo probably can't beat him. So, yeah. But Piccolo headed up to look out and wanted to turn into Speed Force because he just told Kami that Goku, Goku will, will lent it to him. No, lent it, but gave it to him. Talk about how, how to earn it. So, yeah. But now we, now we move on to Goku when probably just the whole Raditz thing. And this is when, at the time Piccolo had got Speed Force, Gohan was two years old. But Gohan was always already running around at mock speed, and Chi-Chi telling him to study, and Gohan said he's pretty fast. But when Gohan's four years old, he actually surpassed Chi-Chi intelligence, and she was okay with it. Like, Gohan is smarter than most adults. Remember, Goku even, like, brought, brought Gohan to Bulma, and Bulma was aware of it. And Bulma was now, like, where Goku, Goku as a kid. But she wasn't too shocked, so. No one, like, this point, they all know Goku's pretty smart, so they're not, like, too shocked about it, but still. Going on at the age of four is already, is already like, 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 Bulma's assistant at Capsule Corp. <laughs> That's how smart he is. But, yeah. So, yeah. But eventually we go on to Goku, probably just when, like, I'd say, just, yeah, when it arrives. And Piccolo came down from, came down from Company's Lookout after these four, after these two years, with the, with the knowledge of most, most Speed Force abilities. Only reason Kami taught Piccolo so fast compared to Goku is that he's, he knows the ability of the Speed Force pretty well, actually. So he's able to teach him a lot faster. Piccolo came down to actually like, show Goku, but only saw Raditz sitting over, sitting over, over, like, not sitting, but flying over, over, um, Kame House. As soon as Raditz starts to flew down, he just gets a kick right in the jaw from Gohan, and Gohan sitting there just flying. With Goku, Gohan just kind of began using his momentum against Raditz, that's really what all it was. Gohan just, just used his own momentum against Raditz, and just, you know, he stopped moving halfway through, and honestly just, like, kind of, like, kind of, like, went into, like, a full flip. And that flip just kicked Raditz in the face so hard that Raditz was sent flying. Gohan was tumbling at le at speeds, surpassing light hundreds of times over at this point. Rad Raditz is going to be sent flying regardless. So yeah. Raditz hit the water and then bouncing off of it so he just landed in the air. And he just flew at Gohan saying, so you damn brat, you think you're going to hit me? One of his hair got by Piccolo and he's thrown into the air only to just be elbowed in the back by Goku. And with the force that put the Goku elbowed him, well, he broke Raditz's Red Red ribs from the back. Uh, he sums his, his elbow into the back of Raditz, and then the force he controlled with it, he broke all Raditz's ribs all at once. Raditz sent flying to the ground, and Goku and Piccolo landed. So yeah. Like, Goku looks all like this most of the time, because I kind of wanted him with, like, red outfits to resemble the Flash, so, yeah. Only thing he's missing in this one is the basic power pole. He doesn't use that. But, well, actually, he kind of can, because he can kind of make objects out of just Speed Force lightning. But, yeah. But Goku ends up talking at Piccolo, asking him if he, if he does think he can use Flash Time. As this goes, Goku, when Goku, Goku calls it. How many carved it to Goku as a Flash? Like, you basically see time is flashing, for, flash, flashing before them. For Goku, it's kind of just freezing. Like, basically, it's, a, like, it's like a blink of eye. Like, it goes by in a flash for humans. For Goku, it lasts forever. So, how many times Goku calls it Flash Time? Then Goku got, got the name as well. But, yeah. Goku and Gohan already. Goku, Goku taught Gohan Flash Time. Piccolo already, already knew it from Kami. So they're all going to flash on themselves, and they can move at insane speeds. Goku just smirked as he actually ended up basically taking off Raditz's Saiyan armor. Piccolo ended up tearing off Raditz's tail. And they all can just, like, just prank Raditz. By the time that they're done, Raditz has a finger. So close, so far, like, it's going to go, like... Goku kind of smacked 
So Mike grabs his arm up to his nose and his finger out. No one that time, I'm going to unfreeze. Right just may as well just kind of pull, poke his head off with the much force that this, 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 he didn't hit himself, but, you know. And his legs are crossed because Goku picked tore his tail off and then punched him in the back of the head as hard as he can. But eventually Goku and Raditz go back to the, Goku, Go, Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo back to their original positions. Suddenly, time would step with the top with the guys to unfreeze. Raditz ends up having his head fly forward because of Piccolo's punch. Then his arm basically, fall, basically go up and he's kind of just and he stabs himself in the nose. He falls back as he, as he, as he just realizes his tail's pulled off, and he passes out from pain. He's, well, he thinks he might pass out, just how much of pain he's in. He's like, he feels like he's dying. But he would stand up, shaking, saying, he'll, he'll, call, he'll kill Kakarot, even if they decide to spare his life. But we heard that saying, well, well, I guess you can't live then. And we go right, go right by the mouth, telling, mouth telling everyone covered, telling someone covered Gohan's eyes. People appeared, covering, kind of covering Gohan in place with his arm covering Gohan's eyes. Then everyone just hears a loud, not everyone, Gohan here would hear a loud squish, only to just see, open his eyes eventually, but he's right, he's right, it's gone, but Goku's hand is covered in blood. Goku can just, yeah. But Goku on us, he just kind of just grabbed at his head and just crushed it, so, yeah. We could, they, Gohan's wondering where his body is, but Goku honestly just ran and threw it into the ocean as far as he could. But, but, well, Vegeta kind of heard that Raditz, like, Raditz, like they heard, he heard the beating that Raditz, Raditz was getting. So, yeah. But eventually, eventually, well, Kami brought Goku and Piccolo and Gohan up to King Kai's planet. And, not King Kai's planet, brought them up to his lookout and told them about King Kai's planet and told them that he can he bring them to King Kai, but it would be pretty hard. It would be pretty hard, but it would be, some, be something that, that, they, that they, the Chi-Chi wouldn't even have to agree to. So, so they start Chi Chi and Chi Chi just generally tell Gohan don't 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 study. He's as smart as can be. He's Bulma's assistant for God's sake. But Bulma, 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 Chi Chi would just actually ask how long Gohan would be gone, and Gohan just says one year. So yeah. this makes Chi Chi nervous. But Gohan is with Piccolo and Goku. Goku and Piccolo are a lot smarter and more responsible than than in canon. Kami basically hit Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo right in the heart, and they all just pass. They all pass out. And it's more and more of like a, a spiritual projection kind of thing. Well, actually, no. They probably usually Dragon Balls actually probably just make their bodies, I guess make their body, I guess like kill their bodies, but also bring them down to King Kai's planet. Or they can just use Dragon Balls to bring them down to King Kai's planet. Just like, like, Shenron, send Goku, Gohan, Piccolo down to King Kai's planet. And it, it may work. Who knows? But yeah, it, it, we can say it works. Goku, Gohan, and, and Piccolo are sent to King Kai's planet. And they basically just train there the whole time. So they trained King Kai's planet the whole time, for the whole one year. But when it came to like thinking of jokes, Go 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 Piccolo and Gohan all think at light speeds. They, they think faster than light, so they thought they the jokes in seconds. Like Gohan gave him a joke, Piccolo Piccolo gave him a joke, Go Goku gave him a joke. Pretty easy. So yeah, but eventually once Goku once Goku basically um Goku Gohan Piccolo be in training, well mainly Gohan being learning the abilities of the Speed Force a bit better. Or Piccolo being learning, being learning to learn Kao Ken, and then Goku being learning Spirit Bomb. Shockingly. So yeah. But Goku and Piccolo and Gohan are both accustomed to the center of gravity somehow, and King, King Kai didn't know how. But eventually we just move on to probably just, uh, probably just when they, when they return. But then, the moment they set to form Snake Way, they should appear in the living world. Like, they just ran that fast. And the Speed Force allows you to run in between dimensions and possibly realms as well. But because they didn't know about anything about King Kai's realm, they probably, probably couldn't have ran there. But now they do, and they could run into, into the living realm pretty easily. So Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo ran, and they appear they appear just in front of the, the Z-Fighters. The Z-Fighters ultimate Kami on Kami's lookout, oh, and so when we went to the time chamber, being mainly Tien going into the, into the time chamber. But yeah. So they all are pretty easily able to defeat, um, well, not all defeat, but because seven men don't kill anyone, and Nappa is pretty, like, he gives everyone a run for their money, but all the Z-Fighters combined kill Nappa. So, yeah, but, so Chachi isn't dead, but they're all too weakened, and then by the time Goku, Gohan, Piccolo arrive, they have before they killed Nappa, but they just wanted to watch them beat Nappa. But Vegeta's questioning if they're Kakarot and Piccolo and some brats, because he wants to Gohan. Or Kakarot, go, Kakarot, Piccolo, and Gohan. And some brat named Gohan. 
guess you can go who just says. Uh, you can, I guess you, guess you can call me Kakarot since you're a Saiyan, but eh, I prefer Goku. He says, I don't give a damn what you prefer. He goes on and goes to Goku's Goku face. Only have his finger, only have, only have Goku's fingers block his punch and flick him through, basically through a giant stone pillar. Now, with one year of training, with, with six months, Goku already already caught up to like caught, caught up to around twelve thousand. Hold up. By the time Goku came back, he's roughly about one about one hundred twenty thousand. Pickles around one hundred fifteen thousand, and Gohan's around ninety thousand. So they're all really powerful. Goku's, Goku's the strongest Ginyu is. So yeah. But with this, we, we go on to go to just Vegeta being beaten up by all of them. Even when you go win a great ape, Goku and Piccolo combined can drop the great ape. Gohan with just Speed Force alone can drop great ape Vegeta. So yeah, there's how strong Gohan and Speed Force is. Gohan learned all the abilities of the Speed Force. He learned really quickly. So yeah. But then when just beat me this question of the kind of ability that the lightning is. Listen, Goku, this go, this go, Goku says that him, Gohan, and Piccolo are speedsters. They have the ability to tap into just raw speed and raw energy. Or basically just raw kinetic energy is what you can call it. So yeah. But with this, well, eventually, Goku would decide to, well, well he just takes, this, like, tar Vegeta's tail, because that's, the Vegeta's kind of a bad guy, so they need, they need, they need him without a tail. But eventually, they, they do decide to actually, well, I'd say, hmm, they can, like, just interrogate him most of the time. But as they interrogate Vegeta, well, Vegeta is eventually just knocked out, because his tail's torn off, but, yeah. He wakes up days later. When he said they say their spot is completely healed, even though Zunkai bring that brought him up to like, like 40,000. He's wondering how he healed so fast. And honestly, this is just Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, and use their speed force into him just so his body had, had accelerated healing. But also, they also did they, they give him top of the line medical care. So, those things in mind, it only took him days to heal. Even though it should have taken him months. He does come with the healing pods, so Goku says, no, we don't have healing pods. Speed force just allows us to heal faster, and we can also, also lend it. So, yeah. But yeah. But Vegeta did talk about Frieza hearing something about both these wish orbs and how they're gonna bring them. How he's just because well, first off, he doesn't he can't beat them. Like they beat him up in his great ape form, and even the Zenkai, he feels like he's weaker than them. And well, even the kid kid has much speed force abilities, and the speed force abilities are quote unquote unbeatable even to Goku. And Vegeta is kind of hesitant to take take Goku's word, to take Goku's word, but also he's hesitant to not listen. So just in cautiousness, he's gonna believe Goku. Honestly, that's kind of how it is right now. We also have Kaioken, so that can bring them up. Big Piccolo has times 40 Kai Kaioken, and that's just because he can. And he can also, also, also infuse Kaioken aura with his with his speed force, which allows him to even get like, get like a 5 times 5 times multiplier in Kaioken with that. And Goku also has, also has a bit of Kaioken, and he took like 4 months to learn that, so yeah. He thinks like Kaioken times 15, Piccolo has times, times, times 60 at his max, Gohan, some Kaioken at all, or Spirit Bomb, but yeah. But Goku has, has, has like, kind of, he calls it, he calls it the basically, basically, basically the Crimson Spirit Bomb, which is a Speed Force Infused Spirit Bomb. So, yeah, but, hold up. But, yeah, this is just, how, this is just, this is just their abilities that can bring them to, to, to a dozen times time multiplier, so, yeah. But, yeah, so we should go to Goku, probably just, um, well, the heat, they also listen about Frieza. And, well, Bulma's has already spaceships. And Kami were told about this, about their ship, as Goku and Piccolo and Gohan all learned Namekian in the matter of hours. Bulma, Bulma, Bulma took a few weeks. But still, Goku even, even built Bulma, like, Bulma, like, Goku and Gohan combined are able, are able to build a pod that is, but Bulma could take, like, it would take Bulma months to build. It took Goku and Gohan, like, an hour at the best. Just because of just how fast their minds can work, but also just how tar smart they both are. Or, shockingly, Goku's smarter than Bulma in this one, but he doesn't act like it. And Bulma even helped them with a the design, and then they built one giant pod that took them, like, a day to, a day to build, so. Hmm. The giant pod can be all the Z fighters, including Vegeta and Piccolo. So, yeah. But with this, we go on to, um, I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, I don't know. They have, they, have, they have like a month, like a month or two before Namek, so they they, they should use this to train, train train Vegeta. So this is they train train Vegeta. Eventually, they, they even like give like, like Vegeta even like even like trusting them at this point. Like Vegeta's character development is how like the like level it is in Namek at this point with how much they've been helping him get stronger. They even brought they even ran him to King Kai's planet. So yeah, but how he does the Namek arc, 
Vegeta has has power power, power level because he's been on he's been on King Kai's planet for like for like like three like two weeks at this point. So he has power level roughly going from around forty thousand up to around eighty thousand. So he's pretty strong. But on their way back, Goku decided actually will tell Vegeta that he's gonna make he's gonna have Vegeta do something. Essentially, when Go ran Vegeta in the Speed Force, but left him there as he as he just ran out of it, leaving Vegeta in the Speed Force to be there. I pick no, then leave Vegeta kind of confronted by like, I guess the well the the black or Goku, and well he tries to fight it only to lose horribly, and is about to, is about to kill him. Goku Goku suddenly run and will slam Vegeta into this Goku as it's about to use the Speed Force charge attack to kill him. But Goku Goku just slammed Vegeta right through it. And Vegeta's then thrown out of the Speed Force, landing in front of Capsule Corp. Goku appeared next to him, and Vegeta's body is just shaking, as he feels like he, like he might die anytime soon. But he's given a Senzu Bean, and he's standing up with electricity coursing through his body. Goku doesn't go through smirk, saying, you're, you're saying you're ready for Namek? Vegeta do a nod, and they, they get in the pod, and they shoot off into space. Both their Ozzy fighters are there, all training the ship. And the ship even has, even has, like, has like a whole gravity section that they all train in, so, yeah. But eventually they do arrive on like on Namek. And the fighters are all like the Krillin alone is at, is at forty thousand. That's how strong he's gotten. Like all the humans are around forty thousand, Chaos who's an exception, being around, around thirty thousand, but still he beat Goldo, so that works. But Chaos even been using his abilities on Goku and like on Goku and Gohan, because they're ones that are willing to let him experiment. But well well Chaos's, Chaos's mental ability surpassed Goldo. Chaos can easily beat him at the same time with just sheer speed and strength. And all Z fighters, all Z fighters just have their speed accustomed to, and they're even a lot stronger. So yeah, they've all got a lot stronger, really. But then we move on, probably just to well, them all wipe all wipe all wiping out Freeza Force members. Even when Jesus clothes has changed a bit to the point where like go close suggested that because the Freeza Force soldiers are here, I can take take off their Saiyan armor. So Jesus for once will not like for once will not wear Saiyan armor, but will wear anything that's under that and just fight against everyone. This is clothing. Clothing kind of looks how it does in the Boo Saga. That's the best way, the best, the best way to say it. Just kind of like Boo Saga. But yeah, so they all beat up basically anyone in the Freezer Force that's around. And Vegeta says he used to be a member of the Freezer Force, but he's not in it anymore. So yeah, that's why he's helping them. But yeah. And then I can move on to probably, I'm going to say, uh. I guess. So we, I guess we move on to them all meeting Guru, and Guru does give them all abilities of like just like like like, like unlocking their potential. But yeah, but Piccolo seems to be like like really pure heart, pure of heart, despite being evil previously. So he's shocked, but yeah. But once they once they all have have the potential unlocked, Goku's roughly around five million, Piccolo around three million, and Vegeta at one point five million, and Gohan at eight hundred thousand. All the other humans are roughly around Ginyu level. Like that's how strong they are. It's just with the with the, with the, with the potential unlock they reach Ginyu. But yeah. Now once Ginyu Force does arrive, speaking of Ginyu, once Ginyu Force does arrive, well, the one to confront them is actually, well, happens to be Gohan and and um Gohan and Yamcha. Now Gohan actually asks Yamcha, do you want to do which one do you want it down? And then they have to point it out to the big purple one. Gohan simply put his hand on Yamcha's back and Yamcha appeared in front of Ginyu and rather than hitting the face over and over. Ginyu has like the like he never felt this before. Like fight, fighting an equal. He's only fought, fought. He's he's only fought someone stronger than him, and that's about it. Stronger or weaker? There's no equal to this so far. The only one that's been stronger than him is Lord Frieza and King Cold. Maybe cooler. Not maybe is cooler. King Cold, cooler, and Frieza. So this sense of overwhelmingness is honestly just someone who might be equal to him, but faster. Then suddenly Bird says, "I'm the fastest in the universe. You can't you can't outmatch me." He looks like Gohan. Someone says, uh, "No, my my dad's the fastest." And listen, Jay says, "Can you move this fast?" Going turned around, so he, like not around, he's like sitting, sitting on Jason's head, saying, uh, "Yeah, he's like a hundred million times faster than you." Actually, how fast you're moving? Hmm. Uh, I'd say about four hundred thousand times faster. Jason's eyes widen. Four suddenly go on, go on and peer and peer in front of all the uni force, like like, like in the middle of all of them. Four of their heads just fall clean off. Go on and walk away toward towards Yamcha, and yeah, like, Yamcha was just honestly just busy demolishing Ginyu. Only the only go on the was almost Goldo because Goldo was just on the ground like just foam at the mouth. Just Ch- 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 was watching from a distance and just use a mental ability on him like so something, something to basically destroy his mind. So yeah, but Chatsu was just, had to just hit Goldo with that and just watched. But yeah, in the meantime we had like we had like, like Vegeta and Tien both beating down Zarbon and Dodoria, pretty easily at that. So yeah, 
But then we go on to, I would probably just say Frieza himself. Frieza would look at all Z fighters, and all Z fighters had just said that they beat down the, everyone who was Frieza soldiers. They killed them all. But Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and Gohan all put their hands out, with their just push through it, and they send, send, they send the speed force all through the Z fighters. Telling them that if they go into some random pathway that isn't Namek or anything else, keep running and don't stop until you, until you come out of it. But also don't run backward in time. You may, you may destroy it. Yeah. It's like, they say, don't run backwards in time, don't run forwards in time. And don't stop running. Yeah. Well, those little Z fighters use a speed force, begin fighting against Frieza, and Frieza can't outmatch any one of their speed. That's how fast they've gotten. Even if it's Chaozu, Ch Vegeta, not Vegeta, well, not well, Vegeta, Vegeta can, but Frieza can't outmatch Chaozu's speed even. Like, like Frieza's just being barraged with this amount of speed. But eventually, Goku decides to actually have them all surround Frieza, and he tells them, just basically do a vortex, he's going to do something with Piccolo. Now him and Piccolo both, like, took performance off to learn the other's abilities, like, like Piccolo took time off to learn Spirit Bomb, Goku and taking time off to learn, to learn Kaioken. But with this, they, Goku and Piccolo both think the giant Spirit Bomb, and then coat it in Speed Force. Goku, Goku, Goku's Speed Force color is more or less just red and golden, even, well, not red and golden, more or less just red, just red and blue. And then Piccolo's Speed Force ability is more of just green and yellow, green and golden. Now with this, they both make the one giant spirit bomb, and they end up infusing key into it as well, besides speed force. Now with this, well, eventually Goku will end up holding the speed hold, 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 holds out the spirit bomb, telling everyone to stop the vortex. And since they're flying at Frieza, and Frieza can't even counter it, no matter what he uses. There's very little key in it, so it's not really a key-based attack, it's a spirit-based attack. And then speed to speed force as well, so it's moving billions of times faster than light, like billions of times. And it slips right into Frieza, and by the time the, 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 the spirit bomb just went away, it freezes and then went away. That's like the only time it needed up, needed, needed to be used. Well, this little spirit bomb gone now. But they look for Frieza, and only find out his body's been incinerated completely by the spirit bomb. And, uh, yeah. Frieza was incinerated by it. But, uh, we can move on past this, probably just to him going on to the cell, cell, to Android Saga. But they ended the Namek Saga in literally just, like, three, four hours. It's kind of the time the top, the top, that's all they needed, really. So now I'm going to pass this to, I would say, probably just go to Goku being told to go to Yardrat because of just King Kai telling him that he could learn some abilities there. And Goku has a bit of like a, like a, like a super jump ability, so he just scans looking, looking for Yardrat and just jumps there. Then he landed, he didn't even fly, he just jumped. So yeah. So he, landed, he just jumped and landed on Yardrat. Then initially, he was joined by um, Vegeta and Gohan and Piccolo, and the other humans all head back to Earth. So let's head back to Earth, Goku, go the speedsters, all train on Namek. Not Namek, I mean, on Yardrat. Now eventually they do return, as they all, or they all learn, basically, some abilities of the, uh, of sphere control. Goku's main ability still was an instant transmission, but also learning another ability, being, I would say, cloning. So Goku ended up learning cloning and instant transmission. He didn't need that either way, because Goku, Goku, Goku speed can beat instant, instant transmission. But, yeah. 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 Then eventually we went past this to um I would say I would say probably just well, Piccolo's ability. I would say Piccolo already pretty Piccolo already have cloning. And you already had giantification and I'm pretty sure healing as well, but Piccolo picked up healing and I would say also uh spirit four, four spirit vision. Then Vegeta picked up instant transmission and four spirit vision as well. Gohan picked up healing and cloning. Now with this, we move on past this to probably just them all heading back to Earth. When they're on Earth, they all meet with Trunks. And not all of them, but mainly just Goku and, Goku and Piccolo. They meet with Trunks, and Trunks talks about, talks about his future. This when Goku talks about how Kim, Vegeta, Pim, Vegeta, and Piccolo and Gohan can all run through time. All, all Trunks needs to do is tell them, is first, we'll tell them, well, first he already beat, he already beat, um, beat King Cold, but yeah. But all he needs to do is basically just have them follow him through time, and they can arrive and beat the androids for him. And then he was amazed, wondering if they even a Super Saiyan yet. And he says, well, yeah, we, yeah, him, Gohan, and Piccolo, both, not Piccolo, him, Gohan, and Vegeta both have Super Saiyan, while Piccolo is Super, Super Namekian. They unlocked that on training Yardrat. So, yeah. Goku and Super Saiyan, he has that. Gohan has it. Piccolo has Super Namekian, where he just turns yellow. Then Vegeta has Super Saiyan. But Trunks actually asked Vegeta if he would do that for him, and Vegeta nodded. And with that, they just, well, they're going to hold on to Trunks' ship, then begin running a bit. As they run, Trunks' ship was started, 
and for the ship to disappear, only for them to follow it through time. How about the time they arrive? Well, they don't seem to be able to follow it because they infuse it with the Speed Force so they could actually track it. But when they did arrive in Trunks' timeline, Bulma's was wondering which way Trunks came back so fast. Only to see them see everyone right beside him as he, she asked how they got here. As a who says that this the Trunks came to the wrong timeline, but she's really someone to help him, so. Yeah. This, this does make Bulma smile that they, this is just how nice this timeline Vegeta is, as he seems a bit more kind and everything. But 17 and 18 appear, wondering why Goku and Vegeta are alive when they, when they killed Vegeta already. Well, Vegeta went to Super Saiyan and just punched 17 right in the face, or that 17's head was blown apart. And this is talked to 18, only to be comforted by Gohan, who just ran so fast that she, like, he like, speed blitzed through her legs. Like, he ran so fast that Speed Force Aura destroyed her legs, like, they, they, they incinerated them. When Piccolo ran with Trunks by his side, and then threw Trunks at 18, and 18 was ch 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 like, cut to pieces. But then Goku just ended up using one to keep us and their parts completely, and now there's no more androids. So that's how, that's how fast it was. That, they, they all ran back to the, right back to their, their timeline, and Trunks was just smiling, saying that, they, that he probably, probably needs to go back and find some, someone else to help, because they came, he came to the wrong one. And he finds the correct Z timeline, and helps them. They, the correct Z timeline goes the exact same way, but yeah. And that's beating the speedster timeline. So with this, well, they're more, they're more about androids, but they can't be too strong. So, they understand that. And with this, well, they all keep training as hard as possible still. Goku, Goku even help them, even help them, he's a King Kai. He, he, he can run, he can run, he can run through dimensions and realms. He, he, can, he can run them to King Kai's realm. So they get there, they train, they train until time's up. And before they go on to the whole thing, like, 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 like the day before the Android attack, Goku ran and brought them all back. So, yeah. But Goku running them through the Speed Force so many times, they all became a, a somewhat speedsters. They're, they're pretty slow compared to the canonical speedsters, but they're, they, can, they can somewhat run, and they can like dash into the Speed Force for a second, and then they leave it. They can barely go into the Speed Force. It's just how they are. But yeah. When came to the androids, when Yamcha confronted, confronted Jiro and 19, he fought them both at once, and pretty easily beat them. As Jiro can track their training, because they were ran through to through time, like... He barely tracked track, track, track them dynamic. He barely tracked their training on, on Yardrat. Like he, barely, he, barely, he can barely track them with how, with how much they move around. Their lightning would destroy most of his stuff, so he doesn't have as much info on them. There's no info on Frieza. A little bit on King Cold. This this cell is a lot weaker than before. Even the androids are weaker, so, yeah. Given fighting the androids, Goku already, had, already took, heart, took heart, heart, heart virus medicine. So, yeah. Hell, Bul when the androids beaten, Bulma gave himself to bring back to Conical Bulma, so Bulma's even more set for and for other androids. Bulma and Bulma even may make her own. But yeah. So they beat, basically, the androids pretty easily. But Goku, 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 Goku doesn't want to kill them. He's a little, like, he has a bit of morals, but these guys so far don't deserve it. Other ones in the future time I knew what they were doing and deserved it. These ones, well, they're, 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 they're honestly just teenagers that, 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 that didn't have a will of their own so far. The future androids have been alive for decades. They know what they're doing. These ones don't know yet. One of the ones give them a chance, and Bulma did actually talk about how she had somewhat ideas for androids because of future Bulma. So she probably just tried to re-engineer them. But when she went into Jiro's lab, finding about the whole, like, Cell thing, even, even re-engineering Cell. And Cell's made to be Android 21. Then, in 1718, she finds out their real names, and basically, she very rent all their memories so that they don't remember Jiro, but she just told them with false memories that they were basically with the Z Fighters for the whole time they were they were Jiro. But the whole time they were their capsule their capsule corporate employees. So yeah, but also aware that they were also well, they shouldn't know not they were they were basically like super soldiers and what they are. Well yeah, so they're kind of just aware that capsule corporate employees and super soldiers. Then so then in like the sixteen they were she re engineered him. You see that he was he was ex um ex Red Raider Army who died, but the with them was turned into to, to a robot by my Capsule Corp. But still, still allies with them. Like she even she wrote their their memories. This is she got to take all the bad parts of it. So yeah. But Cell, when he does arrive, would arrive in the city trying to fight them, but is confronted by Android Twenty One, who's a full grown Cell now. And only to actually just get one tap. Like like the Cell's like perfect, like just genetically perfect for no reason. And. So Android 21 would just use his tail and cut off that cell's head and absorb that cell, being doubled in power. But when he absorbed that cell, his, his power power just so do dominating that he just completely, well, just re rewrote all, not rewrote, but didn't have any memories of him, just kind of just absorbed him like, 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 like a backup battery. Now with this, we move on to probably just the next arc in the Boo Saga. 
the android thing ended in like a day. Now the trunks arrived, you saw the androids pushing away and kill him, but they talk about how Bulma rewrote their memory, so they don't, they don't remember Jero or anything. Which trunks are shocked by saying, oh, uh, we could have done that in our timeline. Bulma didn't end up having any over blueprint saying, these are the androids, and you probably probably re re-engineer those. Not re engineer but make your own that aren't these ones. But yeah. And now we move, I move on to the Boo Saga. And in the Boo Saga, well, well, um, when Shin and, when Shin and, Shin and Kibito arrive, well, first off, Gohan is still a great Saiyan man, still, so that didn't change too much. But also, well, he's capsule, he's capsule corporate and, like, his assistant to Bulma still. Plus, Bulma decides that she made him the one of capsule to go to Gohan until Trunks is grown up. So, yeah. The Gohan is certified, certified to get Capsule Corp until Trunks is 18. <laughs> at this point, Trunks is like, is like 8. Gohan has Capsule Corp for at least for at least 9 years. Yeah. But a lot of the term is the exact same until it came to like, to like, um, to like, to like, to like, to like, to like, just, like, hold, like, so it's only came to Spopovich from like, Ambush Videl or Yamu. I forgot, I forgot what happened, honestly. But, yeah, they're, they're shopping from Ambushing Videl, which leads to Gohan not going berserk. Then we came to Gohan versus Kibito. Kibito was pushing Gohan pretty well, actually, but Gohan went Super Saiyan. And before anyone could actually touch him, well, he already saw through time a bit because he's a speedster. But honestly, he just knocked out whoever tried to do it in flash time, then appeared in front of Kibito and one inch punched him right in the chest. He then went back, 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 back to position. Then with his fist out, well, well he, he kind of had time to resume. And Kibito got him flying out of bounds with Gohan's fist out, and it's steaming. Everyone's wondering how Gohan hit him so fast, or the Great Saiyan Man hit him so fast. Even Shin was amazed, but, eh. Goku ended up laughing, and Shin's asking if he saw that, and Goku nodded. And Piccolo and Vegeta also said they saw it as well, and he asked how, but they said, oh, well, we taught him how to do that. Or Goku said, I taught him, and then I taught, well, I invented it, then he named it, putting it Piccolo, because Piccolo technically didn't name it, he also fused with Kami a little bit earlier, because now Goku's Kami. A lot of things happened during these, like, eight years. Yeah, Goku, go, Goku's the new Kami. He was ready for it. Piccolo was also absorbed Kami, but, yeah. He basically says, Piccolo named it. Well, Goku invented it. Piccolo named it. Then he, then he taught, taught, taught it to Piccolo. Then Goku taught, taught it to Gohan. Then Piccolo t t ended up teaching it to Vegeta alongside, alongside him. So, yeah. They're, they're kind of, like, him and Piccolo are kind of the originators of the technique. And then kind of taught, describes, like, the speed force to Shin, and Shin shocked by this amount of power he never heard of before. But then Goku says, he never heard of it because I invented it. So, yeah. So, we move on now to probably just, um, probably just when he asked them to help them, help him with, with like, beat with, like, Boo, and they agreed to help him with Boo. Plus, each of them are, role, are like, Goku, Piccolo, Gohan, well, Piccolo's in, like, in, like, 8 billion in base, and then he can go Super, you know, super Namekian. Goku's around, around 140 million in base, Vegeta's, like, 120, Gohan's, like, 100. They're all a lot stronger than they are in the Boo Saga. Then Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan all the Super Saiyan 3. A Piccolo has, says, uh, like, Super 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 Nebeki and Ka Ka Kao Ken. So, yeah. But now we should probably move on to when they arrive at Bobby's hideout. And, well, Vegeta holds out, holds out, like, simply just one finger and eradicates the whole, the whole hideout. And that was just one finger. Like, like that blast killed Bobby and Debora. This is how strong it was. When it came to Boo's egg, I actually said he said he, said he had an idea for the egg. I said he should pick up the egg and ask if he should leave it in the Speed Force to be killed by that random demon version of Goku. This is Goku says, yeah, so far he's destroyed everything we've, we've, we've thrown at it. They kind of had like a few tests where they, like, where they would just throw it around, but, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, so they kind of, like, Vegeta like, had like Boo's egg in his hand. Then Goku, Gohan, all drain him, and Piccolo as well, they run into the Speed Force. And they find somewhere to throw the egg. They honestly just throw it full speed, like in the air, just kind of where they throw it and they just disappear. And Boo's egg is left to Demon Goku, who, like the demon thing, like. This Goku is basically, basically the Black Death of the Dragon Ball universe at this point. And this, this version of Goku would actually send so much Speed Force into the egg that the egg is basically just destroyed. So Boo's egg is somehow destroyed in Speed Force. So there's no Boo. So. Also, if you guys are wondering, Go Goten is a speedster too. But Goten doesn't know how to control it just yet. But then we move on to the whole beer saga. And we'll go to now his full control over his full speed force. And then, well, yeah. But when Beerus arrives, well, before he arrives, we basically tell Beerus that if you were to fight, fight the Saiyans, 
at least he's not confident in his victory. Which makes, which confuses Beerus. He says, I'm a, are they the strongest destroyer? He says, no, no, not at all. But they have this thing called the Speed Force, where only they can go into it and come out of it alive. If you were thrown into it, Beerus, I'm afraid that you'd be torn apart, so torn to shreds, basically. You would not come out of it alive. Plus there seems to be some being in there that can kill anything. He destroyed Boo's egg. Beer says, hmm, things hard to destroy. It, it, it takes at least my Hakai to destroy it, not even, not even regular god key. Hakai! So, you know, that, that, that thing in the Speed Force that destroyed Boo's egg made me stronger than my Hakai. We snorted, and Beer says, hmm, I'll try it out. See if those, if those, if those if these humans are as strong as you say they are. He says, oh no, one's a Saiyan. Well, no, most of them are Saiyans with one Mechian. This one Beer says, weird combo. Bloodlisted monsters with peaceful people. Hmm. But that beer still has Earth and fights the Saiyans until he then tells himself, to them, show, show me Speed Force, show me it. But Piccolo suddenly appears behind, behind Beerus, going into the Mechian with Kao Ken a few times a hundred. Which basically, is like, like, it's like, it's like kind of close to Super Saiyan. You should check. Piccolo is formed roughly around, I would say, 15 trillion at his max power. And this is making him the strongest Z fighter in total. But Goku, or in terms of power, power, power level, but Goku is like a mastery of all Speed Force abilities as he invented them. Plus, he can also take away and, and take away Speed Force, and no one else can really let, do that to him. In fact, he has the most Speed Force out of them all. I think they can drain it, but it would, like, it would be, the, be the equivalent of Momoshiki draining Naruto's chakra. It would take them hours to drain all of Goku's Speed Force, which would give him enough time to beat them all. So, yeah. Well, it's shockingly, he's smarter than Piccolo, so, yeah. He's like, he's smarter than, smarter than all the Z fighters, but... Bulbulma is like the only one close to his intelligence. <laughs> just honestly because it's the technology, but yeah, that's really it. But still, Goku would just actually, well, go and... I've probably seen like Dragon Beerus in the Speed Force alongside alongside all of them. With the Speed Force, he doesn't he, he stop moving, only just get barraged over and over again. And in the Speed Force, they all reach new levels of power. But actually, just Goku and all of them are running, and Beerus and Beerus find enough random Akai's at them. Is able to dodge them, or actually just use the Speed Force aura to just absorb it. But eventually they ran too close together, so their speed force already colliding, making it basically just pure gold. Suddenly they run into tapping them, as bodies seem to be facing out of existence, until they fuse. And with that, the Vegeta, not Vegeta, I mean, Beerus turned around to the Black Death Goku, finding one Hakai at it, as it just ran through it completely, and punched Beerus in the face hard that Beerus felt like he might be knocked out from it. But suddenly, the f this fused being ended up grabbing Beerus out of the face, and they appear out of it. Now, they're not really given any form of physical form. It's more or less just a being made of pure lightning, pure energy. Now this before auras are always around it, as it disappears, and it moves so fast that it basically like, it got Beerus by like the tail and then dragged him through time. Beerus is thrown into something, and as he looks at it seeing a dinosaur, only for Beerus to be kicked through the dinosaur, like the dinosaur to kick from the side and, and destroy completely. Like, the dinosaur is kicked harder than incinerated, and Beerus is kicked in the back by this pure energy being. Now with this, he's just being, being kicked through multiple planes of, of dimensions, re realms, reality itself. He's being punched through time, bored in time. Beerus is getting the beatdown of a lifetime. We were even like, they ran into like, into, like, like the realm of the, the Supreme Kai's in the realm of the time of the Elder Kai at his peak power. Like, Beerus just punched into himself when he was the Elder Kai. And the one, like, Beerus, like, Beerus wonder what's happening, he sees himself looks a bit older and everything. Like, the thing looks up seems being pure energy until it's just defused and they fall to the ground. And Elder Kai isn't really broken out of the Z Sword. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one trained with Shin. But with this, Beerus is one of where he is saying, "Are we back in time?" As he stands up, saying, "This is a big no-no." Saying, "Let me have to get out of here immediately before before we're caught by by by, by Zano." But Gokun says, uh, "I don't even know where we are anymore." He just stands up, wobbling. But then like, Goku sends him a, a very, like, he kind of like, like a vision of the future. Because he's like, saw Zeno about to like, about, like, just erase him. He says, oh, no, 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 we need to go. Vegeta nodded as they all stand up, cutting himself into Speed Force again and running for George Beerus. As they all grab him, running back into the Speed Force before Zeno even arrived. When they arrive, they initially end up basically just well, running Beerus back in time as so they throw him into Whis. At least he's able to, to dodge, but wondering where Beerus went. He, they felt like he's been gone for like, a, it's been a few minutes, but... Beerus looks like, he looks like he's exhausted. Asking if he's really beaten up that badly. Beerus says, if I fight over, I, I lose. I, I can't keep up. He fell back, and, well, Beerus says, they ran through time and threw me into myself. 
And this, you know, it makes, it makes Weiss laugh so hard at that. Because who actually asks uh, Shin who this guy was? He describes what Arkad looked like and says, yeah, he's still in the Z sword. And Goku's like, oh, bring me, bring me the Z sword and I'll destroy it. <laughs> but this kind of made like Shin scoff, like, you can break the Z sword. Rather than the Z sword and just Goku just like snapping it in half with his bare hands. Which actually didn't kind of make Shin, make Shin annoyed, but. Mm. But now with this, we move on to probably just. Um, we can probably move on to the beer still training them, or we training them, but yeah. We should actually that they can even, even outspeed him in the Speed Force. Yeah, he can move a lot faster than Light can too, but they're moving faster than him. By like 10 times, but. Hey, they, can move, they can move trillions times faster than Light, so can Whis, but then they can also outspeed Whis by like 10. Like 10 times. <sighs> Initially, we've been moment where like, well, they're racing, and they appear in front of Zeno and like in the by Shinkan, and Whis is panting and sweating. And they've been running through the Speed Force to the point where they're, like, they're trying to like, like, punch Whis. And Weiss is punched in the Speed Force with them. But literally, Weiss is like panting in front of the Zashengan and just falls to his knees with a staff in the ground. And Weiss is like, Weiss, the Zashengan is like, Weiss, are they enemies or are you training them? But the fuse, the fuse being a pure energy, what would Weiss, Weiss say? It's like, oh, he's training us. Until he's just defused, shooting back to the ground, panting. The Zashengan says, are you the are you the boom that ran through time by millions of years? Again. Weiss says, Sorry, sorry, we can't, we can't really control the whole going through time thing again. We're helping us control that, but first we, we have to run through realms and dimensions. Just thing this, wait, you run that fast, you can run through time and, and dimensions. Tell you how you got here, we didn't teleport you here. He says, nope, we were just running and then we came here. And we can explain the whole thing of what they usually do. So, yeah, like, just like how, like how they train. You can easily outspeed them, but this is they, they surpass all angels besides him. And Zeno, I guess, but Zeno isn't an, isn't an angel. But just Shingon experience with their speed training them and how to like, just run through time by will and everything. And she tells them they have an exemption, exemption from the whole time thing because it just happens at times. Or they can, they can control it, sure, but running through time can be helpful in a fight. Even he says that the hill will give them an exception if they can do a few things for them. Which actually just a few going going through time and killing a few people. But this is how they actually, actually, learn, they'll actually learn about all universes as well. Yeah, they run through time and just kill a few random people that that you know, would ask them to. Or honestly make, make sure that they're never born. Except for example, someone's dad is in the middle of not pulling back in a certain action. He just appears and pulls the guy back and then just disappears. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of what they do. Prevent people from being born, prevent people from doing certain actions. They're basically, they're basically, they're basically the, the, the time control, the time control times ten. But eventually, we go into like Frieza being being resurrected. But what when he's resurrected? Well, um, it's honestly kind of uh, not important. This moment Frieza arrived, he's met by like by just Gohan who's on Earth relaxing. Gohan has still has trains trains with the Speed Force with him as goes as like he trains with Goat not with. Just with the Z Fighters or with the other features twenty four seven, but he trains go trains to trains go to have a speed force. Goes in accidentally gave, gave Trunks speed force as well. Or she didn't, wait no. Trunks is a speedster as well because of because of Vegeta being his dad. So Trunks is a speedster as well. So go on trying to train Trunks and Goten, really, for the whole speedster thing. But when it came to Frieza, well Goku honestly uh, Goku, go 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 on, Goten and Trunks honestly like just honestly grab him by by like their like just like go on and go on and grab Frieza. Like, can tackle him while Trunks and Goten grab their arms and run through Speed Force, and they leave Frieza in the Speed Force. Then just disappear. But the thing one thing is that, 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 that like the Black Death won't kill Goten or Gohan. Like, it'll, like, it'll, like punch him out, out of the Speed Force, but it will kill anyone else or destroy anything else left left in there. It will. It, it would. It would kill Goku, but no, not like not like Chi Chi, Gohan, or Goten. Because it's basically it's Goku, but. You know. But still, Frieza is basically, basically killed by, 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 by the Black Death Goku. And, uh, yeah. Now it's the Universe 6 tournament thing. That still goes on. But, well, it's just the speedsters running through it. Like, go, Goten and Trunks replace anyone else who's, who's going to participate. As you know, it's just, 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 just Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and Gohan. All the only people that, people that participate. And they ace every fight. Even, even when it came to, like, Frost... When Frost was hit, hit them with a needle, they already saw it coming, so they just dodged it. And they, they throw off Frost's one arm that had the needle, and they beat Frost with that one arm, stabbing him a hundred times over with the injection. 
Yeah, so they beat everyone. Even Cabo, Cabo's not Super Saiyan still by, by Vegeta. So, yeah. Hmm. But yeah. But anyways, this we can move on forward through, um... Yeah, we can, we can move on forward, I guess, to, uh... Yeah, we can probably just, probably just move on to someone, someone to, like, probably just the Goku Black thing. Who came to Goku Black? Well, he arrived, and Goku Black is kind of like, kind of like Goku's reverse Flash. Just, Goku cannot kill him. Because Goku's whole thing is that, well, pretty sure Flash's whole thing with the reverse Flash is that... Let me check this one. Let me get my fact. Yeah, Goku can just can kill Goku Black, but Goku Black can't really kill him. Cause Goku Black doesn't want to kill Goku even when he, even when he head back to, in time to kill him. But also Trunks is also a speedster. But Trunks is a lot harder to. He's not as fast as Goku or anyone else. But Reverse Flash or for Reverse Goku is kind of, kind, of, kind of what he calls himself. He can beat Trunks because he's a lot faster. He has the body that invented the Speed Force. He took it. He took that body, but still, he's yeah. But when he came to come up the real Goku, this Goku seems to be a lot more skilled than the one the body he took. So he's just been beaten into the dirt over and over again, repeated, like repeatedly, just almost to the point where he's almost dead. But when he disappeared because of the time ring, but then when Goku thought that was it, he's hit in the ribs so hard that most of them are shattered in that punch in the side. And he looked at seeing you punched him, seeing Goku Black, or reverse re reverse Goku in Super Saiyan Rose. It's just Goku, this, Goku, this Goku Black already discovered it. And then he fights the rest of the Z Fighters, and with the body he has, he didn't beat them all. Goku's on the ground, he's coughing up blood, because he's hit so hard in the ribs that he's dying, or feels like he might die. But eventually, he had disappeared according to Tower, using his transmission, as, as reverse Goku doesn't have that. But Goku already knew reverse, reverse Goku would already be there, because he can... He can, he can run faster than this mission. But when he arrived, Vegeta expected a punch, and he caught the punch of throwing Goku black. Then Vegeta got a handful of sensor beans, and popped, and popped one into his mouth and put the other ones in his pocket. With body healed, he then didn't just appear in front of Goku black, or first Goku started to get up, and then Go -Goku, Goku just made a giant construct of lightning, and just began slamming it into Goku black over and over again. But eventually, he had an idea as, as he ran into, the, into basically the, just the speed force with Goku black. And with that, him and Goku, him and Goku, him and Goku like been fighting. And as they fight in the Speed Force, well, they're not really moving, but, well, they are, but they're kind of running, but also stopping at times to fight. But eventually, Goku got an idea. He actually grabbed Reverse Flash, or Reverse Goku, and ran. To the point where he's actually, like, he's ran off the whole thing of the Speed Force, kind of like creating a branch. We're running, running into a whole new timeline, the timeline where Trunks is. And then he ran across dimensions as Reverse Flash and Reverse Goku didn't know he could do that either. He didn't know he could run through time or, well, he knew he could run through time and not the dimensions or realms. But he ran into Universe 10 and before his, like, Rei Zamasu was about to kill Zamasu, Zamasu was about to kill Goasu. Zamasu is then, Reverse Goku is thrown into Zamasu and he hits the ground. Zamasu looks at his body, singing the outfits well, saying, You're me! Goku then grabbed Goasu, telling him what happened, and he does know this can create a paradox. Goku with an incisive pierce just right behind Zamasu and killing him. But this is the original timeline, like, it's like, like the, the past of Reverse Goku's original time. And Goku knew this, so it kind of creates a paradox where Goku Black just disappears from existence, and then so does Zamasu, so does Zamasu, 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 Immortal Zamasu. They both just disappear. So yeah, as they both just disappear, or, well, Goku ended up sighing, saying... Saying sorry, sorry for creating the whole time paradox, but he didn't, he didn't mean to do this. But Goku, this one Goku says it was for the best. But with that, Goku wants to see Dumpsy just disappeared. And, uh, yeah. He just, Ken just ran back. He appeared again. Trunks asked, 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 asked what Goku did to him. And Goku says, he may have created a time paradox for Trunks, but long story short, Zamasu and Goku Black are gone. And Trunks is likely, is likely, is likely, likely, likely to forget that they existed. Trunks is like, well, that's better for me. So, yeah. But Trunks, before he forgets, would run forward in time. And when he came back, his whole thing, was, his whole universe was built back up. When Goku Black and Evil Zamasu, or not well, Evil Zamasu already, but Immortal Zamasu and Goku, and Reverse Goku didn't exist. Everything's fixed and he forgot them. And we told, told, told Goku that wasn't wise, but Goku did make a good use of his... Um, of his non, of his no, no consequences of his, 
he may give you some knife consequences of burning through time. So yeah. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we we we, we can probably we can probably probably just move on move on past this to I guess you know this like you know tournament power. Actually no, go 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 is actually not not spark this, but I guess if it were to still happen, he can beat everyone by throwing them into the speed force and killing them. Or like literally no one else but him and the other speedsters can run into into the speed force. They cannot be disqualified for it. All he does is he threw them through time. Also, because of this, um, he can technically kill Zeno. You take technically just throw Zeno into the speed force and leave him in the speed force. Because the whole thing of Goku can't kill him, but Z Zeno is just stuck there. You can't outrun the speed force. <laughs> but yeah, but with everyone being speedsters, like Goku, Gohan, uh, Vegeta, Piccolo all being speedsters. Plus, I I think I think they, they probably like Goten and Trunks are participate because they're speedsters as well. Like they need ten, so Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, uh, anyone else they want, really. They can let into the tournament and just let, just, let's just throw everyone out of bounds with just their sheer speed, for, speed force. Even even Dispo is just like Tn is so fast that he can just I can like I match I match Dispo easily. Even him to hit Trunks just ran and picked up hit and threw him out of bounds. Even K when KLB and reaching out. Piccolo grabbed her by the by, by, by her hair and threw her out of bounds. The point where all that's left is literally, it's literally just just jeering. And when it came to Topo, we just stared down Topo and just smacked away his, his Akai's in base form, saying that he saying that he's beaten Beerus before. There's no reason that he shouldn't be be, be, able, be able to beat some mimic some mimicry destroyer. And then go go face on Jiren and told told you to get over with and he needs help. Let's go home joining my side and everyone else but, but Vegeta did. And Vegeta says, "Fine, fine, fine. I'll be right there." Here, just right, right, right behind, right behind, right behind, um, and Topo before grabbing him from behind, just kind of suplexing him. And then when suplexing him, he kind of picked him up again and threw him out of bounds. Well, this, well, Topo caught himself, but only so only had like only just had his hand completely blown off by Vegeta, and he fell out of bounds. But speedsters all gather around, and they begin vibrating with the speed force aura around them. Their auras begin conjoining, before they run forward and collide, and they become well, basically pure energy once again. But this pure aura basically just shoots into a more of a he kind of shoots into, like, a whitish aura. Like, they're going ultra-instant omen for the first time. That's kind of what they did. Which actually does give Gohan and... Gives, like, basically everyone... An ultra instinct, so to say. But this Jiren can't, like, can't, can't, can't contend this fighter. He can't land... Like, and they're pure energy. He can't hit them, if, even if they weren't using ultra instinct. And Jiren is hit once, and the whole arena is destroyed with this one kick. Uh, but the way you describe this being is Alien X. It's the best way to, to describe it. Like, it's literally just Alien X, but give him the Speed Force. That's what this, what this being is. Give him Ultra Instinct and the Speed Force. This is, this is what it is. You can run so fast that you can create a branch timeline and rewrite it to whatever it wants to. So this is what this being is now. So yeah, it's basically Alien X with Ultra Instinct and the Speed Force. And they annihilate Jiren with that one ability. Like just, one, just one kick blew apart the whole the whole dimension that they were in, or cracked it. And then eventually they just ran again. Like they they ran once, and the dimension's fixed. But yeah, so eventually, eventually this whole thing's over. Well, well, they they, they, they do like defuse, but they all just have ultra ultra instinct omen activated and just disperses. This just this just this just all the angels of how powerful go, this this fusion of the speedsters came to be. But they can point out that probably this, this, that Trunks is a stronger speedster than basically Go Go Ten and Trunks. He's about as strong as strong as like Future Trunks is, is a stronger speedster than Go Ten and Kid Trunks, and kind of matching Go matching Gohan. So if they have if they had Trunks instead of, instead of the two kids, they'd be a lot stronger. They could they could annihilate the whole dimension without one kick instead of cracking it. They could just destroy the whole dimension. But yeah, even even Daishinkan thought in this form he could, they they could, they, could, they, could, they could they could contend him with the power that they that they possessed. But eventually we go into the whole Moro arc. And his arc honestly ends so fast. The moment, the moment that Goku Piccolo confronted him, they just ran, they threw him, they threw him into the speed force, and he's just destroyed by it. The same thing with Grill, throw him into the speed force, and he's destroyed. Even when we used to be the strongest, he said, sorry, but the strongest in the universe is already is already here. And basically a fusion of fighters that Grill can never can never beat. 
Yeah, so Gurren Lagann is confronted by Goku and Vegeta, and they both just throw him into the Sea Force, and he's torn apart by it. Then Gas made the same wish, thrown into the Sea Force, destroyed. Then Elec thrown into the Sea Force and destroyed. Oil and Maki one punched. That's all it takes in this in this universe. And Goku's Kami plus plus with the Sea Force, he de- he's he ages super slow, so he can live for hundreds of years despite being insane. Like like go, go, Goku Goku will not get old until he until he's like until he's like a, like hundred fifteen. He can be Kami for as long as as Kami was Kami. <laughs> so yeah, we can be be Kami for as long as Nekin Kami was. But yeah. So it kind of ends the whole Dragon Ball series. If they if they fall 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 like Moro or something, they throw him into the Speed Force. And then we came into Broly. They're all about as strong as Broly is. If they if they if they want to go max out. But yeah, so we should end this what if here. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe for more. Adios.